tracks doesn't seem to work here as well. Yeah, it's some of these uh, some of these legs, the solder doesn't go on so easy. Or it's the flux in my solder. Or just the solder or the oil, but that's just not going on at all. It's almost like putting water on oil or oil on water. It's just not willing to mix. Hmm. Right, this should be interesting. I'm going to try and get the solder on. Solder on it. All the way through here. Oh. Yeah, it's not the nicest looking joint, but it's got it. And it will serve our purpose. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these two first. Yeah, they sort of go brown. I don't know if that. I think that's the flux. That's. Uh, I don't know. Do you know? I really don't know. I'd like to know what's going on there, but I, uh, I think it's something to do with solder, or it's something to do with these. It's something to do with something to do with this. Probably just me. This is not good. This is not good at all. I think that's me. No. Mm. Some just don't want to be soldered. There's a hair on that, and it's not going to be one of mine because, well, I don't have any that long. Unless it's a bit of. I'm gluing the plastic of the LED. This is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh dear. It just will not be soldered to. It will not be soldered to. Uh, 
Now you imagine you're building one of them DSO138s because I come across this a lot building those. That's part of the reason why I've stopped doing it now because sometimes you just get components, pads that will not be soldered to and it messes up what you're trying to do is a perfect job. Just not soldering to the legs. It is just not soldering. And I've got more chance of damaging the LED. Keep trying to solder this. This is ridiculous. I suppose it's I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. I, I wouldn't like to say. I wouldn't like to say. And like I said on those DSA 138s, um, some of them were terrible, the boards or the components, but they just would not solder together. And I can sit here and I can prat around doing stuff, soldering, I don't have any problems whatsoever. I don't know whether it's contamination in the production or, or what. See that? Not a problem. Not a problem. Straight on. Not a big club. Again, not a problem. Some of them are okay, some of them are. This one won't be soldered to either. Well, it's just not, just not getting on at all. It just doesn't want to know. So if I get another one, put that in there, just fold it the right way. If I get another one, same solder. There you go, it's sticking. I'm not sticking, I need a bit more solder. Maybe that's why they give so many extra because they know that some are just not going to play the game. That bit was too easy, too good to be true. It's good. Well, I should say, sold or uh, be nice just to get that to go up onto there. I don't like where it is, but I think it's going to. Right, I've just got to turn this this way to get to this. I'm sorry you're not ready to see it, but it's at such an angle where I've got to be completely, uh, you know, ambidextrous or something. Well, that's a terrible solder. It's just a big glob, but... happy that it's uh, just in the right area and it's doing it's what it's supposed to be.
Anybody notice what I've done? For what I haven't done? I've not got one here. Nope. This one's a little bit problematic trying to solder, but not as bad as the others, some of the others. Okay. Okay. Oh, blind! I can't believe there's another two layers after this. to this one either. quite a lot of soldering. We want a decent solder. And a decent solder station. Forget those plug-in jobs, they're useless. That's really useless. Alright, we've already got like one or two things to solder, but you've got to have a thing on for hours because you've got plenty to solder. Yeah. And it's gotta be neat. Or at least neatish. Not really any good at all. I can't even see that down there probably. It's almost like I'm out of the drink again. I'm quitting drinking, I'm stopping. That's from tomorrow. The reason why I say tomorrow is because I've still got a little bit of Baileys in the fridge. And uh, I think it will be, um, well, if you throw away Baileys, I think you should be shot basically. <laughs> So I'm just going to have the last lap tonight. And then I'm going to quit drinking. I'm going to get back into a bit of fitness like I used to. Like I was before. I thought once the uh, kids had you know, grown and stuff I could just let myself go. Turns out what happens is they have kids and you gotta stay relatively fit to keep up with them. Bought myself a push bike rather than use the car. For you know, into town journeys where it's not needed to come out. Push bike is brilliant. The old blood you in. Why am I going to get to that? That's not actually quite touching. Sorry you don't get to see some of this, but unless I take the camera down and put it on the inside. Uh, that won't really work for me at all. I've 
across what I was trying to solve out there. Front bits as well. I'm not looking forward to the other two. It's like, I don't know how many hours it is. How many hours of video editing I've got to go through to leave bits in and take bits out and, and then watch the whole bloody thing again, make sure it makes some sort of sense. Yeah, I think. Uh, when it comes to doing these front bits, I know the first one I didn't do it, but just put the old uh, long nose pliers in if you've got it and just bend it around the pliers because at least then all of them you can keep the same. I know I haven't done that with the first ones here, but the rest of them I'm going to be doing that with because it's, it's just easier, it seems. Well, and it's going to be more uniform. I don't know if that's the right word to use. I didn't really get an education at school. I was, uh, I was one of the difficult students. Or pupil. As they used to say. I don't know if they still say that. But it's all students. Huh? So yeah, just... Uh, yeah, just pull it out the same as what you would do on this. And put your pliers on like that in the same place, pretty much tight up. And then for this one, I'm going to bend it to the left. Rather than to the right. And this time I'm going to snip it just before halfway. So there's some crossover, but not loads. And hopefully the solder will stick as well. As that seems to be factoring all this right now, whether the solder works or not. Mm, yeah, that's about right. Really, I'm trying to keep all the joints at work. God, I can't even see that. All the the light and the white and lack of colours is just all blurring into each other. Good connection there. Oh, still doesn't look terribly bad. I don't know. Well, to be fair, it's a little bit wibbly wobbly, isn't it? But
Oh, well, I cut this as well, don't I? Took a bit of a pain trying to cut it before. Right, this is annoying now, with this magnetism part of it. So, where's my little thing? There we go. Magnetism, go away, come back another day. Demagnetise. See that worked. Well, that worked well, didn't it? Yeah, it's stuck in there now. <laughs> yeah, you can see that. Still not demagnetised off here. Supposed to aren't we? That thing. Nah, look, just. They just stick, they just... What do you it doesn't work. It magnetises where it shouldn't be. Right. Let's give it a bob of sold on hand. It's been sold, it's one of my hand, that's actually quite hot. Yeah. It's a little to go down around there. Oops. <gasps> oh no, what just moved then that shouldn't have. But this isn't good. This isn't fun. No. <laughs> No, this isn't fun at all now. How am I going to get that out of there? No. There. Right, what came apart? Something from what it came apart. I think, I think someone might have got a little bit, it's still magnetised, Jesus, that was another thing I bought off eBay, you know, the old demagnetiser there, that's uh, <laughs> doesn't demagnetise. four weeks for it to come along and not do its job. Okay. That's two out of four. Let's just keep pushing forward. Oh this is terrible. That's uh that's just what Brownie black. No, that's not sticking. It's not having anything at all. That nothing. Same solder on this one. Not a problem. It sticks. Okay, not that bit so well, but. 
try another extra solder. This one will actually work. If you keep your, if you keep the uh, iron too hot around the LEDs, because they just they die so so easily LEDs do. And probably one of the most sensitive, I think, for the stuff that I've done with LEDs. Well, I don't know if this is the case throughout, but you know, um, I'm only eight months into this hobby, and uh, but I, I've been at it every day. I'm a bit addicted. I think if you, you can get bitten by a bug in, you know, if you go to the gym, and this is the same, I think, you can get bitten by the bug. Basically, the bug is this you build stuff, it works, and you think, oh, I can build some house. And, and then you just, you just want to build things every day. And see what's good and what's not. And, and that's what I do. Basically, I'll give myself time every day for this. Done. Yeah, I do it every day. If I can't get my head around building something, I read. I read or I watch some uh, some videos out there. I like watching teardowns and I like watching people do repairs on things and pick up hints and tips from them as they chat away with what they're doing. This one's gonna stick. Nope. And maybe it's not really happy doing it. No, it's not about another one. I hope there aren't too many like this because I don't have any spares of these. I think we've done like three or four. 